Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you slash run play uh, tip video. I said a couple days ago when I put out a gameplay that I was going to show you guys a run play scheme that I've been using. I've been dominating uh, weekend league with. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna show you my team because I just want to show you guys there's no tricks up my sleeve. If you take a look at my team, I don't really even have very good linemen, let alone I don't have any abilities on them. I don't have nothing on them. I mean, you guys can see I pretty much put a lot of uh, resources into my skill position players, but I I don't really put a lot of resources into my linemen so there's nothing really to this other than the play itself the only uh, attribute I have on these guys is on one of my linemen I have identifier that's it I don't have anything blocking related or nothing like that and like I said they're not even that good they're not even that highly rated while we're looking at my mud team though just to give you guys a reminder if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsor mmoxp.com link in the description below and use discount code money to get five percent off other than that's going to get right into the gameplay uh, going back to the play the scheme itself is out of the single Single back ace. I'm in the 49ers playbook, which is what I've been using for quite a bit. Uh, I love this formation based off the fact that there's no real tell because it's an even formation. You have no idea which way the ball is going to go left or right when it comes to some of the outside run plays. As far as the audibles go, the only one I really keep in here is the smoke play, uh, which I'll typically look for if it's like a cover three or cover four. You could run the smoke stretch. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I'm pretty much going to put in. There's about six or seven plays in this formation that I like to use. The stretch alert lookie's a good one if somebody run commits a lot. Uh, that's going to be something you can catch them with the uh, with the stretch and you will force people to run commit a lot of times people are going to get desperate and try to run commit to stop these plays one of the better pass plays is the pa experts cross that's one of the first plays that i start off with in this particular gameplay but there's a couple of really good pass plays the skinny post is a really good play uh, at the top there which i'm going to show you and then the 01 trap is probably the main inside run the 01 trap is probably like the default play if i can run the 01 trap i'm pretty much always going to run it the other run play that i'm going to use the most is going to be the halfback stretch those two plays play off each other uh, pretty much the entire time and they're the real basis of the scheme is the staff back stretch and the 0-1 trap they're gonna be the number one and number two play I use the most and then like I said I have my stretch alert look if I want to if somebody's run committing and I have my smoke play if somebody's in a cover three or cover four that's pretty much it then the fifth play I typically pick a passing play this time I pick the PA experts cross sometimes it's the skinny posts I mean it really doesn't matter they're both very good all I really do on this setup sometimes I put this a route on a drag sometimes I put them on a streak this particular play I put them on a streak uh, I'll show you both setups as the game goes along i still have more plays in this formation as well but this play here you can pretty much streak either tight end and it's going to beat uh, just about any man or zone you can see the running backs wide open in the flat typically man coverage he doesn't beat but zone coverages he's going to be wide open in the flat just about every time for a good catch and run but i want to hit the b route because the b route's a deeper play i could tell that the uh, the user was on a defensive lineman so i really didn't worry about that on the next play my opponent's going to give me exactly what i want which is huge gaps uh this is pretty much all that i want to look for when it comes to running the o one trap anytime we have gaps like this I'm going to have a huge advantage. Look how these blocks just plow open huge lanes in the run that's something that you're going to see pretty much every time you have any type of gaps in the middle uh, my opponent the next play he's going to do the smart move he's going to try to close up this gap definitely a good move but that typically leaves you open to the outside where i basically just switch over to the stretch play you can see the tight end on the left side here has a huge leverage advantage over the uh, safety or the outside linebacker that he has in the box i mean that's just way too much so typically people will give up one for the other and this scenario i'm just going to switch over to the halfback stretch which is typically the second Read. you can see on the right side here we definitely have a lot more we have the cover three safety in the box so we just want to flip with the right stick to the left side and we got nothing but real estate we get a one-on-one -on -one with the safety and that's all she wrote i just put a little bit of a so that's you know first drive only really use we didn't even use the full arsenal of plays there's like seven plays in the scheme we only use maybe three and we just go right down the field my opponent had no ability to slow me down or stop it on the defensive side my opponent's a pretty good opponent he has a pretty good team he pretty much just runs the same gun tray y flex scheme that everybody knows uh, he's hit me with inside zones going to the left then he's basically checking it down to the running back on the table route on the right uh, that's pretty much his entire scheme like he doesn't do much more than that and he runs his offense really well to be honest with you i'm cool with that because i pretty much try to play a bend but don't break style of football he gets inside the red zone you can see all of a sudden he switches over to a three tight end set and he's basically going to try to run the ball in i have a really good run defense for that so the second i see he's in a three tight end set i go to my cover four quarters run defense i'll put a link in the description below if you guys didn't check that i'm not going to go over it too much today but you can see he went right down the field on me with his 
normal offense. Now that he's inside the red zone, when I know he's going to run the ball, nope. he's getting completely shut down on just about every single play. It's also a pretty good pass defense. You can see right here, he tries to take off with his quarterback. Nope. He gets stopped. On the next play, he tries to do the same thing. Like I said, it's a good pass defense. Everything's locked up. Nope. We can basically get the quarterback one more time. He's got to take the three points. So back on offense, we're going to show you guys the skinny post. If you're playing Madden like five years ago, the skinny post was one of the hardest plays to stop in the game, and it still is. As long as you have a single high safety like my opponent has here, uh, a lot of people are going to be stacking the box to stop these run plays, so it's going to make it that much easier to diagnose these uh, these pass plays. As you can see, shifts the safety down to try to take it away. Basically, any cover three or any cover one, you're going to have that throw inside. That was a cover three zone, which is why that worked out. If it's a cover one man, which you'll see as I run this gameplay more and more, they still get that inside release. This next play, though, I just didn't get off quick enough. I get sacked, uh, which once you go past like a manageable distance, like this isn't really meant to be an explosive series of plays. So I'm going to switch over to my, my gun uh, split close formation which i put out yesterday in a video i'll leave a link in the description if you guys didn't catch that this very play was in that video it's a one play touchdown against most defenses you can see my opponent break yourself fool Still trying to shut down those run plays. We just bomb it right over the top of them. So second series, we had to go to a little bit more of our traditional passing offense. But for the most part, this entire gameplay is going to be me running these run plays. So on the defensive side, one more time, my opponent, he's going to just do the exact same thing. He's been doing inside zone, uh, check it down to the table route. It's like second he's at the open side of the field. He takes off with the quarterback a lot too. I mean, it's basically, he's only running two plays, inside zone and uh, levels wise sale. That's pretty much it. Uh, at the end of the day though, I mean, I really got to shut him down once he gets inside the red zone on this next play i was all over that for a second but i for whatever reason i just didn't think he'd throw it because i was right on top of him and he scores a touchdown leaves me 13 seconds left now for most people you can't really get points with 13 seconds left but i'm gonna try so first play we get right to about midfield with four seconds left we're gonna go we're gonna hit this a route and for whatever reason he hits me with a defensive pass yeah. interference he tries to knock the ball out giving me the ball with no time left inside the 30 and we're gonna kick a field goal so real easy uh three points there probably never should have got that but we're gonna go up seven into the second half which is important because he gets ball first and the way that he's been moving the ball against me i'm probably going to need that touchdown lead so like i said no real change here table route inside zone i mean i'm, I'm just you know I have, I have no problem with that you're gonna hit me with little dink and dunks i'm not gonna get too upset about it because at the end of the day i'm really trying to i mean i'm gonna try to get turnovers but at the end of the day i'm trying to just basically shut you down once you get inside of scoring range i just want to not give up touchdowns and then as you can see, I mean, even in this position, he, he's still running with the quarterback. Like, that's his really only option. So he goes right back to that three tight end set. Like I said, every time he's inside the red zone, he's going to that three tight end set. I'm going to hit him with my run defense, my 6-1, cover four quarters, which, like I said, also very good pass defense. And we're going to basically shut him down. You can see nope. right here, he's trying to run. He's not getting anywhere. We force a fourth and 10. Sure enough, he's got to go for it because he doesn't want to go for field goals anymore. And we're going to throw it up. And we're going to get a nice user pick. Gotcha, uh, although it wasn't user because I actually think it got tipped by one of my zones but we get the ball back now we just have to salt this game away we're gonna go right back to that running scheme once again like i said we're basically just looking you know i i think that he might run commit because of the time left on the clock so i think about going with the looky but at the end of the day i see those gaps right up the middle so i'm gonna switch over to that 0-1 trap like i said anytime i could take this 0-1 trap i'm gonna take this 0-1 trap that's the number one play in this formation for me then on third and two it looks like he's bringing the house i could have hit both the flats but i wanted that bigger play like i said anytime you got that single high safety i'm staring right at that single high safety and i'm gonna hit either one of these outside routes you can't stop it on first and ten next play gonna hit him with that 0-1 trap one more time and i thought i could have been going but that cornerback comes out of nowhere and tackles me but my opponent's had enough he's gonna go ahead he's gonna pull the ripcord on that one he basically figures that he's got the loss you can't stop my offense so moving on to the next gameplay got another very good team another very good opponent uh, on the opposite side and we're gonna start off with the exact same offense uh, setting up my audibles the same way this time I'm gonna have the skinny posts in my audibles which I didn't have last time because I was I was having success with that on the first play once again gonna hit him with that 0-1 trap anytime I see gaps in the middle going straight to that 0-1 trap on the next play, we're going to go right back to the PA Experts cross. I'm just going to do a little bit of a different setup. I'm going to streak the Y route this time and drag the A route. That's going to basically create a high-low concept between the A and the B route. One of them will always get open, whether it's man or zone. If it's a zone coverage, like I said, the running back's open on this next play, though. He does have a man coverage. He's all over that. I could have went to the A route or the B route. They were both open. Uh, but the bottom line is I'm always sucking that guy down to the box, that user middle linebacker down to the box with this run formation, with these run plays. Next play, once again, you can't stop this play. <laughs> you can't 
can't stop, stop the skinny pose play. It just is what it is. I'm going to run a couple different times here. He's constantly down the box because he's worried about these run plays. And we're just taking big chunk plays that the DBs just can't stop. Now, in the next play, he shoots in and he stops me. Uh, which, you know what? If you're going to do that, because there is opportunity to do that when it comes to the 0-1 trap, I'm just going to keep hitting with these skinny posts. These skinny posts are murder. And then we're just going to finish him off with a stretch play because I see he's trying to shoot that gap one more time. We just take it outside. We get an easy touchdown. So, back-to-back -back games, we just go right down our opponent's throats uh, with a very, very hard to stop run scheme. Uh, on the offensive side, my opponent, he, he definitely throws a lot more tight window throws than the previous opponent. I do think my first opponent was a little bit better, even though he was a little bit cheesier. This guy right here, he's sticking into some tight windows. Uh, he's not necessarily going to have as much success on the offensive side as my first opponent, uh, which is fine because ultimately I'm just trying to show up these, uh, these run plays anyway. Then I force my opponent to a fourth and nine, and he takes a short nope. throw underneath. He does not get it. So we're going to go right back to that PA Experts cross. He keeps uh, bringing his, his DBs down, bringing everybody down, uh, trying to stop these run plays. So I'm going to go ahead and go right back to that skinny post play. He decides to bring everybody into the box, so I block both my tight ends. I'm expecting him to bring the house, and if he does that, any man covers, these these posts are going to get the job done. So we have an opportunity for a really big play here. He drops back the second the play starts. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> But it's too late. You can't cover both of these routes. They're the exact same. Pick your poison. Whichever one you pick, I'm going to go hit the other one. That was all based off of his uh, pre-snap adjustments trying to stop the run plays. So back on the defensive side, my opponent here, just like the previous opponent, really only things you can throw against my defense other than taking off the quarterback is short routes. That's pretty much all I really give up with the defense the way that I play it. Uh, on the next play, though, he gets a little bit lucky, a little bit of a, a good animation, and then he's off to the races. So he does make it a ball game. It's now 14-7. to Next play on offense, I mean, he looks like he's doing the exact same setup. I switch over to the skinny post one more time. I block my tight ends just so I can, you know, withstand the pressure. Uh, and I really probably could have threw one of these passes, but I just didn't want to throw an interception here and let him back into the ball game. So I take the sack. I was trying to take off, but I couldn't get out of it. Uh, go back to my uh, my gun split close, which, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. I just put this scheme out yesterday. He's in a cover one a lot, so I'm going to hit him with a cover one killer, which is the Z spot. Another play that I put out yesterday. There's really nothing to the setup here. This is a designed cover one uh, beater. All I'm going to do is motion this guy out, put him on a smart route, and the X route's going to be a really big play. I put two streaks on the right side because I see he's using the safety a lot. I want to try to pull his attention over there as much as possible so he doesn't get in the way of the, come, or the stop and go route on the left side. And sure enough, he bites on it, and we have a really big play. We don't get gone like I was anticipating or like I was hoping, but it's good enough. You know what I mean? It gets us down the field. Now we're getting kind of pass happy. I'm in one of my all-time favorite plays, the middle, high, low. I'm going to put out an updated version of this, by the way, because this play is absolutely insane. Uh, but on the next play, we use it just to kill the uh, the cover one man that he has over the middle because he wasn't covering deep. So we get an easy touchdown over the middle because he kept leaving that open. So back on the defensive side, gotcha, he's not going to be with the ball too much. I mean, this game's pretty much over. As we get an interception right here, uh, it's actually going to be a pick six. Derek Thomas, all I really do is drop that guy into a, uh, into a hook, and he just gets an interception on a quick throw. So that was a bit of a gift. I kind of expected him to quit there, but he, this guy doesn't quit. He sticks around the entire game. Uh, on the next play, he's going to do something very similar. I mean, he's kind of just, you know, I guess he just wanted a, a good game. He gets an interception now. He throws the Marshall Lattimore on the other side. So we're going to try to run some clock out. we got the perfect offense to do that with. So on the first play, once again, hit him with that 0-1 trap. That 0-1 trap is just absolutely deadly. The, the, the size of the holes are just insane. The next play, it looks like he run commits out of a man blitz, which is probably a pretty good method to try to slow this play down. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to hit him with the next play in the scheme, which is the halfback zone week. This is also a very good run play out of this formation. Uh, this is basically, if they're trying to shoot gaps like they are and they're run committing like he is, this is a better option. So in the next play, you can see these safeties shoot forward once again. Uh, we just get a really easy run right over the middle uh, for a, a very explosive touchdown, about a 20-yard run. Uh, and then, like I said, my opponent's not going to quit, but that's fine because we're going to pretty much uh, do our sign off here as he gets hit for a fumble with his quarterback. Uh, we get the ball back. Uh, but that's it. That's the play. So if you guys want to see more uh, you know, game plays like this, more run schemes, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.